welcome back to my channel. I am so glad everyone stopped by today because for today's video I'm going to be doing a character from one of my favorite video games. Currently I'm obsessed with this game. I can't help but play it anytime I have extra time. Um, not that I have a lot of that. <laughs> so anyways, the game that I'm obsessed with is called Ark Survival Evolved. The major premise of the game is you're surviving on an island. Um, there's dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures that could kill you, or you could try and tame them to help you survive. You can build, kill major bosses like dragons. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do on it, and I just love it. The creature that I want to make from Ark is called Thylacaleo. If you don't know what that is, it's an extinct species of marsupial. It's actually pretty cool. In the game, you can climb into trees, jump out of them, and attack your prey or other players. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> So I thought, why not make one? Anyways, let's get started. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to work on is the clay face. It's going to take pretty much more time than anything else because there's a lot of detail in this face, so we'll get that out of the way first. Now for this face, it's a bit larger than what I'm used to doing. So instead of using tin foil and clay on top of my glass thing, I'm actually going to cover my glass jar with tin foil and build the face directly onto the glass jar. As I build up my clay, I'm going to add a little bit of tin foil at the very top and start covering that up with clay as well. Now for this piece, I'm going to have his mouth open because the teeth of Thylacaleo are very prominent to his features. They're actually these kind of really big chiseled pieces, and um, I wanted to show that off. So, it's going to look a little weird for a little bit, but <laughs> it'll look better in a bit. Once I have the teeth where I like them, I'm going to start adding his lips and some extra layers of clay to give more muscle tone, and he won't look as weird now. <laughs> Then I'm going to make his nose and start building up more of the bridge of his snout and start giving a lot more muscles because his face is very thick. But I don't want to do this all at once because you could end up giving him a weird look. So I'm going to build it up kind of in layers. Now I really wish I could have got some glass eyes for this piece, but maybe next time I will. But these ones are going to be painted, so I'm going to use some glass circles, put those in place where the eyes are going to go, and then cover them up in clay and start building up around them.
once I have the face in the shape that I like it, I'm going to add some fur details and some other textures along with that to get his face finished off. Okay, for his clay feet, I made these little wire frames ahead of time. They're pretty simple, and the first thing I'm going to have to do is add the claws to them. I can't bake everything all at once. These are going to be baked probably three times. That way we can get the detail in without messing it up as we go. Once I have his claws onto the wire frame for his feet, I'm going to be baking these along with his face for about 50 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. Once the pieces are out of the oven and cooled, I'm going to start making the paw pads for the feet. So I'm going to build this up onto the wire frame of the feet. Once the bottom of the foot is fully sculpted, I'm going to bake this for roughly about 30 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit, and then we can start sculpting the top of the foot. For the top of the foot, I'm going to leave it fairly simple. I'm going to give him a little bit of skin around his toenail, and then I'm going to cover everything in clay and start sculpting a bit of fur onto it. And then the feet will go into the oven for another roughly 45 minutes. Same temperature. 
Okay, now for the fabric. This part looks more complicated than it is because of the fact I'm going to be hand sewing stripes for him to get the patterns that he has in the video game. The pattern itself is actually pretty simple. It's pretty much in the shape of a lion, a nice thick bear shape or something like that. It's a pretty basic shape and if you actually watch my how to make patterns video, um, the closest pattern that I drew in that video is probably the deer and you would just thicken up the pattern and make it more bulkier and shorten the legs. And of course add this long tail to the piece. So yeah, I'm going to get the hand sewing part done for this and show you how the pattern looks once it's kind of put together. And then I will show you the um, sewing part with the sewing machine. Okay, and here is the left and right side of Thylakilio. You can see where the stripes go together. These took, I will not lie, they took a long time to do. So if you don't want to do this, I recommend trying to find a fur fabric with stripes. <laughs> <laughs> just to save you time, but I really wanted to do these colors. But yeah, I have the other sides of the legs pinned together, and I'm going to be sewing these together with the sewing machine real quick, and then we can start sewing the belly on and start sewing the tail closed and all of that. Okay, now it's time to sew everything together. So I'm going to be adding the belly going between the two main pieces. Right now I pretty much have the neck and between the front arms pinned together and I'm gonna sew along these two spots. For the stomach I have the sides pinned together. I'm gonna sew along this and then after I use the sewing machine, I'm going to hand sew between the legs to combine this area together. It's kind of curved so it's just easier to hand sew. Then I just need to do the tail. Okay, and here's my finished pattern. The only thing I haven't sewn yet is the back of all the legs. I leave this open so that it's easier to attach the feet. And then I have him open along his spine, that way he can be stuffed. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the painting of the clay pieces. I'm going to start with the feet and I'm going to paint the very tops of everything all brown. Next I'm going to be painting the skin that goes around his claws. This I decided to go with a neutral gray because he has these colors already in him and I felt like it just looked right. Next I'm going to be doing the paw pads, a nice really dark Almost pink, but more of a red color. And then of course his nails are going to be black. Now for his face, this is going to be the fun part. Love his face. <laughs> I'm going to start with some grays and then I'm going to work some browns and different tones into his face until I have a nice good fade from one color to the next.
With his mouth, I'm going to paint the whole inside of it black. And then what I'm going to do afterwards, once the black is dried, is I'm going to be painting his teeth white. And then they'll stand out and they'll give more of a shadowing effect to where it looks like his mouth is really open. Now I want to give him a little bit of the blue that he has going down his spine, so I'm going to add a few little stripes along his forehead. Now I'm going to be painting his lips, eyes, and nose all black. For the lips and the nose, these are actually going to stay black, but for the eyes, I'm doing this so that I have a nice blank canvas to work with when I paint in the details of his eyes. Now that the paint in his mouth is dried, I'm going to start painting his teeth. Um, once this is done, you can see a lot more detail than you could before. Now I just have his eyes left. For this, I'm going to do a nice orange color because I really want them to stand out. So I'm going to get that done and then we will of course resin everything, that way it's protected and um, then we can start putting everything together the following day because of course you need a day for the resin to dry. Okay, it's the following day now and all of our clay pieces have dried and are nice and protected and shiny um, and it's time to start gluing them to the body. For this I'm going to use my glue gun and start gluing the fur for the neck around the head of the piece. And then I will glue on his feet and after his feet are attached I can sew up the back of his legs and start stuffing him.
Okay, last thing I need to do for Thyla Kaleo is give him a pair of ears, and then I'm just going to trim up his fur and he'll be all finished. And here is our finished Thyla Kaleo. I think he came out really cool. I love his stripes. In the game, you can actually breed your dinosaurs and your creatures and get mutations like weird colors. And I figured blue would look really cool with him. So he's a mutated Thyla Kaleo. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If so, make sure you leave me a like. Subscribe if you haven't done that already so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!